Google Pixel 6 Pro, great news. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. It is no secret that the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro have subpar fingerprint scanners and they are the first in Google's Pixel series to launch with under-display fingerprint scanners. Google even has confirmed that it had used a superior sensor in the mid-range Pixel 6a but anyway, people were quick to find security issues with the latter, which is less than ideal for a biometric authentication method. According to 9to5Google, Google has decided to combine facial recognition with fingerprint sensor information, and theoretically, this would allow both the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro to support facial recognition, while also providing a more reliable and faster user experience overall. 9to5 Google explains that the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro will use their front-facing camera to reduce the threshold for fingerprint recognition which means in other words, if the system recognizes your face, it will only require partial fingerprint recognition to authenticate you. Allegedly, the combination of facial and fingerprint recognition should preserve the security integrity of both the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, and also, Google's solution does not require additional or specific hardware, making it possible to be distributed via a software update. Unfortunately, 9to5 Google stresses that Google could be testing the functionality on the Pixel 6 series only to make it a Pixel 7 series exclusive which is currently expected to arrive in mid-October. In addition to that, last week, Jerry Rig Everything tested the OnePlus 10T, OnePlus' latest flagship smartphone for its durability. While the OnePlus 10T contains a few changes from the OnePlus 10 Pro, it has inherited the device's fragility where the device got split near its camera housing, exactly mirroring the OnePlus 10 Pro. Subsequently, the teardown expert has also bent, scratched, and set fire to the Pixel 6a, which fared much better than the OnePlus 10T where specifically, the small gap got opened between the display and the frame when he bent the Pixel 6a. Although the gap is not ideal for an IP67 certified device, the Pixel 6a performs much better than the OnePlus 10T and, by extension, the OnePlus 10 Pro. Potentially, the Pixel 6a's aluminum frame could be the reason for its higher durability while the OnePlus 10T has a plastic frame, which may explain its fragility. Additionally, the Pixel 6a has a plastic back, along with plastic hardware buttons and in short, this means that the Pixel 6a's back panel should not crack or smash when dropped. Conversely, the Corning Gorilla Glass 3 coverage on the Pixel 6a's 6.1-inch display is not on par with the Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro, which both feature Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. But still, Jerry Rig Everything highlights that Gorilla Glass 3 offers the same scratch resistance as Gorilla Glass Victus, but the difference is that Gorilla Glass 3 will crack more easily. That being said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.